Now to the shoe swamp, where smoke has been an issue for residents and firefighters alike. It is hampering efforts to fight the biggest fire that region has ever seen. And they're also dealing with theft. CTV's Penny Daflos has the latest from Salmon Arm. Uh, we have uh, seen an improvement in the air quality, if you can believe it. Salmon Arm yesterday had the worst air quality in the province. We're waiting to see if that's improved. That means seniors in this area, uh, people with health issues, had been advised to shelter in place, to stay indoors with the doors and windows closed. It's been quite thick. And it, considering that smoke is so thick, it's hampering the firefighting efforts because it means really poor visibility. Pilots need to be able to see where they're going in terms of fighting the actual flames, but also avoiding each other in the air. It's incredibly dangerous work and when the visibility has been this poor it's really hampered flight operations that's been a big deal in what is now a complex fire it's an Adams complex fire and they call it a complex it. when multiple fires at least two have merged in this case we have three fires that have merged several communities we've seen uh, homes lost incredible destruction there so when you can't fight the fires from the sky it leaves it to the folks on the ground to do their work and if you can believe it they have had thefts of equipment the BC wildfire service tells us that water pumps and other equipment has been stolen people taking it to try to fight fires in their own homes or what they're doing with that equipment but it's really hampering wildfire fighting efforts that have only been able to be fought on the ground really aggressive fire activity here in the shoe swap on friday alone it was incredibly hot the winds were still very active that fire moved 20 kilometers in just half a day